Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our toaster message. So that means if you made any changes in your site, then that will be displayed on the toaster message, right? Great. Now in this video, I want to discuss about another most interactive things that is how can make our change password functionality. So here we are actually customize it for our specific user. That means admin user. Now let's do that work here. I will, I will also add some of the multiple validation. I hope you will like it very much. So for doing this, first of all, we have to do, we have to create one of the pages. That means here into this menu, I want to do and to create, uh, that will be as a change password. This time from the menu I want to create, so that is in our header. I want to simply go to that our header, into the header area, before I have created that logout. I have created that admin profile. Now I want to create another one for this one, okay? Here I want to, do, to simply paste it. I want to change that name, that will be the change password okay change password great and also I want to create one of the new route as a admin change change password so that is very essential one of the things for step by step we will go more deep now that is our admin change password we have to create this type of one of the route I copy it and now if you go to our web route into the web route I want to better copy it and after that in our same middleware that means here in our admin area I want to now create another new one and that will be the name as a ad admin change password. So right now I want to do, I want to simply update it as a admin change password. That will be as a admin change and then password. That will be our URL and in our admin controller, I want to create another new method as a admin change password. Okay, that will be the admin change password. So now this type of one of the method I want to create in our admin controller. Now go to that our admin controller here after that. Okay, I want to create another new one. That will be the public function method name will be as a admin change password. Great. Okay, great. Perfect. So friend here right now only I want to do, I want to return on the view page. So that will be the return view, return view. I want to create in our admin folder. Now I want to create another new page as a change admin. Okay. Admin change underscore password. So now this type of the page I want to create. Great. So if you want to create it, we have to create it in our admin. So now into the admin folder, I want to create on the new file. Click as a save as, name it as admin change password dot blade dot PHP. Okay, great. So that will be just like our profile. Only now we don't need this part, right? Like I want to do, or rather than if you also want to load this one, you can actually load it. That is totally up to you. But I want to load it, then that will actually look at it. Okay. So in that case, I want to go our admin profile. I copy everything. And then here, I want to done to paste it. Okay. Right now, this image functionality, we will not need it. Okay. I want to simply remove it. And also, there is all that field I want to remove. Dev by dev, I want to remove. Okay. Only one field I want to take first. I want to remove it. I want to remove it, I want to remove it, only take that um, one, okay, I want to take one as a name, great, and also here, here you can say I have also displayed our profile data, so if you want to display the profile data, then also we have to do, have to pass the same things that I pass in our admin profile, so now better with the same variable, I copy it, then actually you can display it. Now I want to do and to pass it so that it will be our same variable as the admin profile. So if you are, uh, remove it, then it should be not needed. But right now I want to pass it, then that will be actually look at it by the compact method. Sorry, here by the compact, okay, compact method. I want to do and to pass it, and then that will be attractive. Great. Now that should be also work. Okay, that should be also work. Now let's check this out. If you know, click as a save all. And after that, I want to run our PHP Addison Optimize. Everything is running perfectly. I refresh it. And now if you go to the change password, um, it's getting that profile dot dot. Okay. Maybe I did something wrong in which place. Here you can see I passed that as a one of the dollar sign. That will be only profile data. Now click the save all. Now refresh it. Hmm, perfect. You can see now that is actually visible also in here. 
so right now friend i want to update our this part this part will be here here i want to do i want to name that as update or not update that will be the change admin change password okay change password great so for the admin change password laravel also provided this type of one of the change password functionality right now i want to do and to customize it as per our demand here also if you want to show some of the validation message you can also display it i show you like that is our name okay i want to do our first field should be as old password password okay that will be the old password and here we don't need any value i want to remove this value great and here if you want to show some of the laravel default all that message that means validation message you can also display it in that case we have to do i just simply add that as an error okay that is our error function that that is default function and here i want to update that our field name our name i name it as a old password password okay and also id um, there is also id i name that same name as a old password great great um, and also our error message here that should be display as a old password and here we want to do and to make it as an and okay that will be the and error great and then that will be i want to load on the spin spin class class i want to better make it as a text danger then that will be actually read type of things okay and message will be by default function as a message i want to do and to display this message okay that is around the default function here it should be get this error okay and also in our form control into the form control area i want to also get that validate so that will be the same condition as error error okay here at the red error will be started and then i want to do error will be in our for our which field that will be for the our old password i want to update that old password will be one of the class as is okay is invalid so that will be the is invalid i want to call it and then that will be as a at the rate sorry at the rate and error great so now that will be also get that validation okay so if you want to get some of the validation message you can display it and also literally i will also discuss about that things with you how can show some of the validation message with using that javascript i will cover almost everything as i told you just simply write a code down with me everything step by step will be very clear to you okay great and our type that will be obviously one of the password type i make it as a password type great so that will be our first field also better right now i copy it now that will be our another field another field i name it as a new password and for the new password our field name i name it as a all new password okay i make it as a new password and id i make it as a new password error will be new password error will be as a new password great and also to take another one i paste it now that will be as a another one as a confirm password okay I make it as a confirm confirm rm confirm new password great and confirm new password will be which one that will be as a new password okay new password and then confirmation so that will be the confirmation great so that will be a new password confirmation and here we don't need it or by default automatically that will actually get this error also from control area i want to do and to remove it that will be only from control and id id i want to use it as a new password confirmation okay great great so friend that's all that's all we have to do right now there is a three field one is a new confirm new password new password and old password now if you click as a save changes now refresh it now that should be updated as a old password new password and confirm new password okay now in our next video we have to do we have to make these changes okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video